Okay, this is another video about ghost blocks, first of all. Um, very basic stuff about server client desynchronization. Here we have a Seotic pulse generator. But when we flick the lever, we can see the redstone turn on for one game tick. So we see the redstone turns on. And it's weird that this is visible, because it should actually be invisible. Because it's a Seotic pulse, it should only be visible for Seotics, but it's visible for one tick. And that's already a desynchronization between the server and the client, because for the server, the pulse turns on and off within the same game tick, but for the client, the pulse turns on, and when the pulse is supposed to turn off, the client is kind of confused because that's too much at once for the client. The client doesn't like Seotic technology at all and therefore he says I'm just gonna wait for the next game tick and then I look what the server calculated. I'm just gonna wait for the server and then everything will be okay. That's also the case for other Seotic pulls generators. For example here we have another one and we can see it turns on and I'm using a tick speed mod by by Cubitect because Panda hasn't released his tick speed mod ever. And you can also see that the client waits sometimes for one game ticks. In other cases for example here we have a Seotic off pulled and you can see the piston flicker. And now any of these one tick desynchronizations can be used to make ghost blocks and generators. So this is a ghost block generator based on a Seotic off pulse which I have shown before. But any kind of weird Seotic technology piston effect can actually be used in ghost block generators. For example here the piston stays for one game tick longer than it's supposed to be. That's mainly an animation bug. But that animation bug is enough to make a Seotic, uh, uh, a ghost block generator based on this. So here we have a ghost block generator that is based on the fact that this piston stays here for one tick too long for the client. So basically what we're doing here we are retracting this piston while it's extended using weird Seotic technology. And for the server this is air instantly, but for the client this piston stays here for one tick. And when we do what we do in the same tick is we extend this piston. And for the server this piston can be extended because for the server here's air. But for the client this piston cannot be extended before because for the client here's a piston head. And therefore it's not movable for the server but for the client and then we can move it out and then we have a ghost block. So basically you can make based on any kind of animation bug you can make a ghost block generator. Yeah. This is another example for a ghost block generator. And this is kind of messy because I made it very spontaneously. This is a thing where a piston gets extended and pulled out within one game tick and the piston also stays here for one game tick too long and this can also be used to generate ghost blocks. So this functions very similar to the second ghost block generator I showed. Because for the server this piston gets pulled out instantly so there's air here but for the client this piston got extended and therefore here's an unmovable activated piston base and when we activate this piston and for the server it can extend because there's air here and for the client it cannot extend because there's a piston base here and when we have again a piston which is movable for the client but not for the, for the server and when it can move this piston out and when we have ghost blocks so you can make a lot of different ghost blocks generators yeah now I want to talk about some more ghost block effects with pistons. I think I have shown it before in one video, but if you disguise a piston as another piston you can get interesting effects. So here we have a piston which is a normal piston facing upwards for the client and a piston facing in this direction for the server. And if you power this piston, 
it will resynchronize and it will extend of course because it's powered but the client has enough time to generate a ghost piston head and you can get these effects by using a ghost block generator but um, you can also get these effects just from one tick desynchronization is because that's sometimes enough time to disguise a piston as another piston so here we have a contraption that also generates a ghost piston head so you can also do that if you just use the time you have to disguise a piston as a different piston and a second effect that you can get from this stuff is you um, can get a very weird piston animation and make a block invisible so right now appears an invisible block because it got pulled down for the client but not for the server and I will just slow show the piston animation of that in slow motion because it's a very interesting piston animation so you see there is a sideward piston head retracting downwards try to show it again because it's interesting with animation and I have finally that tick speed mod and I'm so happy that I want to use it again <laughs> and for the client this block gets pulled downward because there's a sticky piston head going downward for the client and therefore the client thinks it should be pulled downwards that's some very interesting behavior right there and that this behavior can also be done with without actually making entire ghost blocks this can also be achieved just with one tick desynchronizations and an example is right here what happens right here is this piston gets extended and then another piston gets pushed in and of course the client doesn't like that because you can't push away an extended piston so the client will just say that this piston stays here but for the server the piston there will be a sticky piston facing sidewards and if you then give a theoretic post to the whole thing you get the weird piston animation and you get invisible blocks so that's basically how this works uses one tick desynchronization to desynchronize the block. Yeah, you can also get it I think with this contraption. Yeah. When we also have an invisible block right here. Uh, I think uh, I think that's all.